Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Coming at you with another quick video workout demonstration. Um, today we're going 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of transition between the exercises. You can keep that 20 seconds as your rest after each round, or you can uh, add a little bit to that if you need to. So uh, we've got four exercises. First one, we've got an inverted row. I'll break that down for you in just a second. Uh, the next one is a plank push-up, walk down this core, making it dynamic as we go up and down on the arms. Goblet squat, we've run through one of these before uh, in the last couple weeks. And then a hollow body hold, dialing in some of that core. So here we go, your uh, inverted row. I've got two chairs set up here. I've got a broom. We all have that somewhere in our house, okay? To target some of this back that's hard to do without with just strict body weight. Um, we're setting this up. So I'm going to come underneath and I'm grabbing as far wide as I can. I can slide these chairs in and out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to grab as wide as I can. I'm getting underneath and um, as much as I can. And you're just really trying to pull yourself straight up so that you're not trying to pull the chairs and tip them over. So grab wide. That's going to help prevent um, A, your broomstick or your, your dowel, whatever it is you're using from bending but also um, it'll prevent your chair from sliding in because your hand is blocking it. So get underneath, you can go overhand grip, you can go reverse grip to mix this up a little bit. And uh, the more your feet are bent underneath you, the easier that's gonna get. If your legs are straight and your body is stiff, that's gonna get a little more challenging. So um, get underneath it, row nice and strong, nice and proud, try and bring your chest up as high to the bar and control yourself back down, okay? 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. These reps are slow and controlled. They're not super fast and all over the place. Plank push-up, hands under shoulders, straight, strong core, head, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. If we can't keep this core under control, we can certainly drop this to the knees or elevate ourselves onto a couch and go here. So for demo purposes, I'm here on the floor. My feet are uh, straight head, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, straight in line. I'm going to control down to my elbows, elbow, hand underneath the shoulder, push up, hand back underneath the shoulder. Make sure these hands stay underneath the shoulder. We don't start to drift them out and turn it into that. Okay, halfway through your reps or halfway through that time, switch your lead arm, left arm down, right arm down, left arm up, right arm up. Okay, and then switch. Make sure we drop down right and left or right arm down leading. Goblet squat, I grabbed a little LaCroix. Um, you can find something heavier, lighter, whatever you need to. It's high and tight on your chest. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Toes mostly straight. You can play with that angle a little bit, but make sure your knees track in line with those toes. And then we're squatting down, keeping this torso nice and tall. Fire the glutes, stand back up. Down, two, three. Pause for a second, stand back tall and strong to the top. Okay, so control that pace. If anything, go super slow on the way down, and then you can pop back up nice and strong. Get a little pause in between. Just don't pause when you're in a standing and resting position. Um, hollow body hold. It could be a long 40 seconds, so you can break this up into five seconds at a time, 10 seconds at a time with brief rests in between. So on your back, I want you to crunch everything in. We're looking for this lower back to be flat and flush in the ground. I cannot fit more than my fingertips underneath my back, and even then they get stuck. Okay, coming in, um, I want you to take your hands and reach down towards your feet. Okay, so now my upper abs are crunching into this. My shoulders, shoulder blades are off the ground, and I'm gonna extend out. Okay, so there's kind of the modified version. I like to cross my toes when I'm here to add some tension into my legs, into my core. And then I want to add a little more. I'm going to go overhead, okay? Press into my hands to add some tension. Now I've got tension from my toes all the way through my fingertips, dialing into that core, okay? And keeping that lower back flat. If your lower back starts to lift at any point, then break it down and then make it a little easier here, okay? If it starts to lift, I'll bring my legs in a little closer or bring them up a little higher. Wherever you're at, get it in. Dial it in, have some fun, and uh, let me know how it goes. We'll see you soon.